It's the Daily Dog. Hey everybody, what is going on? Thanks for being with me for another edition of the Daily Dog. Happy Friday, it's Friday afternoon. Thought it'd be uh, good to come over to the church and play along with a tune uh, as we do a reaction. And today's reaction is going to be to the song Trains by the band Porcupine Tree. And I am excited to listen to this. Uh, I, I don't know much of Porcupine Tree's music. What I do know of them is really through my knowledge of Stephen Wilson's music. Uh, I was turned on to his stuff three or four years ago and uh, have become a fan uh, because he's a wonderful songwriter and performer, uh, an even better recording engineer, in my opinion. So I'm excited to hear what we've got today. I'm at the piano because a lot of folks uh, continue to ask me about the the type of critical listening that I do and, and um, and trying to pick out key areas and, and chord progressions sort of as we hear them. Uh, no, it's not because I have perfect pitch. Uh, over years of practice, I have developed pretty good relative pitch, uh, but I need a reference point to start off with. And once I know what that reference point is, it's just hearing the intervals and the qualities of the chords and trying to figure out um, where they go. Like, um, on the Foo, Fire, uh, Foo Fighter video, I did this, where if I know that that's a C and I can define that note, then if I hear a different interval, like that one, that sounds like a major sixth. And if I know that a major sixth above C is an A, then I just yell out, that's an A, right? And so if I know that that's an A, and I hear this note, which is a tritone, I immediately know that that's either a D sharp or an E flat, depending on what you want to hear, right? Then back to C, right? So, uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, it's not, like I say, it's not a perfect pitch. It's just uh, practice and practice and practice with identifying and naming what you hear as you hear it. And uh, it's, it's just a skill that can, that, that can be cultivated. Uh, I'm decent at it. Uh, I have a lot of friends that are even uh, better at it and more adept at it than I am. But uh, it's, it's a fun skill to be able to do. Uh, I got into it when I was in high school, when I was learning music, and I would hear a song on the radio, and I would play games with myself to see if I could hear it on the radio and then go home and play it. And um, that was kind of how I got into this, and then just became one of the things that I ended up teaching as, as a musicianship and music professor. So uh, we are going to do a, a screen uh, recording on this other phone while I uh, watch the video from their um, from their studio recording of trains. The deal is, and I learned this the hard way, if I stop the, the YouTube video uh, while it's going, uh, the screen recording uh, stops. So this has to be just one take all the way through. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> you ready? We're gonna try this. Okay, so I need to turn on screen recording. Okay, that's good. This is Porcupine Tree uh, Trains. Let's see what we got. Minor key. That sounds like an A. Much right. Under a. The blind. It's an A and an F chord. Extra stuff that he adds in. My cousin's bed, the of the train they're, they're little things, but it makes the track sound just atmospheric. It opens it up. All of those uh, background stuff. It's really amazing. Okay. I always love the acoustic when it's played really well in some of these bands. It, it gives a different dimension. Um, and sound instead of all uh, electric all the time. It gives this more pop. And he's doing that same thing. Two chords. Minor. Yeah, he's adding some stuff in there, but that's basically the, the chords. They've got A's and C's in common. 
catch a lot of the the, the middle section uh, I'll have to go back and listen to that again um, I th th it's just eargasms uh, from from Stephen Wilson and the gang porcupine tree that was so much fun trains um, excellent 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 how do I get this to stop going okay cool maybe uh, stop recording thank you anyway 
uh, <laughs> technology. What are you gonna do, right? But it allows me to do that, and uh, we'll put these two together so that then it'll show up wherever it shows up, you know, and and um, that'll be it. Um, fans of Porcupine Tree, uh, let me know like uh, if if I got any of that wrong, um, or if uh, or what song to listen to next. Um, uh, I, I do enjoy Stephen Wilson, like I said, quite a bit. Uh, I did a, uh, a, a, not a reaction video, but kind of an analysis video on Stephen's song, The Raven Who Refused to Sing, and which is like one of my favorite songs to listen to of all time. Killer. Um, but I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, Trains by Porcupine Tree. And uh, we'll keep diving into that band and... Um, Keep enjoying the music. So that's all for today on a Friday afternoon, and I hope you have a good weekend. We will see you next time on The Daily Doug.